Welcome back to Silent Hill 4, The Room. In the last episode, Walter Sullivan, or somebody, since there's some doubt about it now, claimed their 19th victim, which was the person who lives across the apartment from us. They were getting electrocuted in a chair, while that kid was in the same room pointing out the window. The kid that in the past we've heard is Walter Sullivan, but the person getting electrocuted in the chair said that they were the 11th person, the 11th victim. The one that was in that casket that was dug up that we found. So I don't actually know if that is Walter Sullivan, or if Walter Sullivan somehow is both the kid and committing the murders at the same time, and murdered their kid self, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, we came back here, and now an adult version of that kid is in the same window, outside, pointing to Eileen's room. And, uh, when we come in here, there's now a symbol being drawn around this hole, and the voices are gone. So let's see where it takes us now. Next victim seems to be Eileen. Doesn't look like a human made it. It's getting bigger. And rounder. I think I've seen this pattern before. Looks like my apartment. What the hell is this? That person was the one pointing out the window. The adult version of the kid, I think. Oh, I should have dumped the placard off at the apartment. It's probably fine. I probably won't run out of space. Ew. Oh, squishy. Are they dead? Yeah. Hey, kid. Oh, whoa. They're... <laughs> oh, that is so cool. They're just gone. And they disappeared. Like, when you move into this camera angle, you're kind of in front of them. So I was, like, right in front of them, so I thought they were just behind me, and then I moved, and they're just not there. Alright, this is Eileen's room, right? Scrap red paper stuck under the door. <clears throat> it's the same way they show up under my door. Can I read it? Is that a no? Okay. Yeah, I think all those notes come from the investigator. Or the, uh, the journalist it was, the person who lived in my apartment before. What's the guy doing here? Could he be the next victim? Or could it be... Oh. This is the one they're knocking at, so the other, the other one isn't Eileen's apartment. Oh, right, they're next to me. Eileen's next to me. This is my apartment. And this is how the notes are delivered to me. Right. I'm in 302. Look at how the corruption is. There's like a bubble around my apartment. I wonder if it's the symbol that's protecting me. The protection symbol in the bathroom. Oh. 
I got this from Miss Galvin. A long, long time ago. She was younger than me back then. She looked so happy, holding her mother's hand. Here. I'll give it to you. She was younger than me then. The implication being I'm younger than them now? Because the kid version of themselves? Maybe? Take the shabby doll, yes. Old doll given by the man sitting on the apartment stairway. She was so young then. So happy with life. Just holding on to her mother's hand. Hold on. Are you a ghost? Nope, they're not a ghost. Confirmed. Where's this go? Ooh. Somebody dropping something in the distance? Heavy machinery? Why are so many things dead here? I'm not used to finding these creatures already dead. And what is this on the ground? Looks like a compass, sort of. These are the tenant's lockers, numbers 101 through 304. Hmm, oh, hi. Where should I go first? Two doors down here that work. And then there's a door up there that works too. Also, I think I saw a hole. Yes. Hmm. Well, I mean, the symbol's obviously around this one, and that definitely isn't keeping the corruption away. So I don't think the symbol has to do with the rusty weirdness. Do we really have any reason to enter the hole right now? It would allow me to look at Eileen. I want to see if we can get any more information from inside our apartment. Plus, I want to read that note that's under our door. And yeah, this tube changes. It's not always the same tube in that cutscene. Now it's more organic looking or rusted. I'm not sure. Somebody using power tools to try to open the door? No, they're still arguing. Is that coming from the laundry room? Yeah. I'll check that in a second. I figured out the riddle behind the numbers. 01121 is actually 01 slash 21. In other words, 1 out of 21. So Walter was planning on killing 21 people. But he never finished the job. Huh. I thought it was a date. I thought it was a date, I think, partially because of I, I saw it written on someone and I think the what the subtitles call the one looked more like a slash. 
um, plus it lists the numbers as dates on the Silent Hill wiki. So those two things made me think it was maybe a date. Well, that's good then. Because that means I'm not going to... Well, I could still be the next victim, but at least we're not at the final victim just yet. We're on the 20th out of 21. He was convicted for the murders of Billy and Miriam Locaine, the 7th and 8th victims. Afterwards, he committed suicide in his jail cell. The grisly mass murder of 10 people shocked the world and came to be known as the Walter Sullivan case. There are two big puzzles here. The first is, what was the motive for the murders? The second is, why did he kill himself before completing his task? Was he simply insane? May 2nd. No, I don't think so. Why is there blood here now? What the hell is this? The dryer sprayed blood all over the place. Is there anything inside? I guess not. Take any of these things, take the oil can. Nope. More and more things in my apartment are getting covered in blood. First the bathtub, now the dryer. How are you doing, Eileen? Can't see her. I wonder if something happened to Eileen. Is that person still outside the window pointing? Probably not if they're on the stairs now. Yeah, they're not there anymore. I'm going to go through the door on the floor up. Was it this one? Where did I come from up here? There's two doors. Ah, I don't know. Let's try this one. Doggies. That's fine. They should be pretty happy. They can just suck on the walls, right? Blood everywhere. There's a lot of garbage. That's it, huh? Just a dead end? Okay. Oh. It's a part of some torn jeans. There's blood and some kind of animal hair on them. Yeah, what do you think of that asshole? <laughs> what are you what are you doing? Get get down. Get down. Get down. Finally. Maybe you have to weaken them with a medallion, you can't just use a weapon. Pile of garbage. Oh, I didn't try this door back here. I 
I guess I need keys to all these places. Yeah, all of these have working doors. I just need the keys. All right, we got to go down to the first floor then, I think. I should also take my sword back. Yoink. Just kidding. Yoink. First floor. Nothing opens. What does that say? Superintendent's room. I wonder if I'll find the umbilical cord in there. Yeah, so none of those open on the sides. There is this one big door in the center. Oh wait, no, that's already marked as locked. Uh, so, did I miss something up here? All of that, and this was the only door I could go in. It was 301 up here. I came out of this door, or... Well... This was my door, this is Eileen's door, I don't remember exactly where I came from, to be honest. But yeah, all everything is locked except for this one door just back in the hallway, 301. Look at all these porno magazines. diary. The last few months, Joseph, the guy next door to me, uh, Joseph, the guy next door to me who gave me that rare porn magazine, looks like he's been working super hard. He said if he found another rare one, he'd give it to me, but he hasn't shown his face around much lately. He said he was a journalist and he's always investigating stuff, but I think something strange is going on with him. He's been shut in his apartment and I can hear all these weird noises coming from there. July 1st, Mike. Oh, my beautiful Rachel, what's with the note on the red paper? I thought you'd written a note back to me, but I guess maybe it was somewhere else. They thought Rachel was writing to them, but it was whoever's leaving the red notes. He took it along with my clothes. Those were my best clothes. July 2nd, Mike. What? I did not understand that. But the journalist I was investigating the cult was also a collector of rare porn mags? That's, um... Interesting. Wait, 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 what did that say? It's a red piece of paper with nothing written on it. Huh. I'll stick it under room 302's door. Is that when the writing appears? It's got to slip under my door. I don't know if I want to go here yet. I feel like I'm going to get trapped in those cages. No, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine, wait. What the hell? This guy, is it the super? He was much younger in this picture. There's a key taped to the back of it. Take the superintendent's key, heck yeah. It's a photo of a nurse. It says, I love you on it. There's a key taped to the back of it. Locker key 106, so that's the mail key. What the hell's wrong with this person? Magazine lying open. 
Teaching Despair, Wish House. Wish House, an orphanage on the outskirts of Silent Hill, but behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Wish House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, who lives near Wish House, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear the weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. What exactly do the folks at Wish House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Wish House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It's a religious a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people as a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Wish House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber A heathen, heathen religion. Oh, hi. Nope. Don't touch me. Sounds like uh, I was written by somebody who's very dogmatic in their current beliefs, and obviously they're right to hate the cult and what they're doing, but I'm not sure about the way they're approaching it. Seems like they want to just take over the orphanage and teach the kids their own brand of crap. Okay. Uh, yeah, that should do it. I don't think I want to go back in there where the zombie is. I'll go down to the main lobby and uh, get back to my apartment through that. Oh look, someone's left a note for us. It was four years ago that they discovered the body with 1221 carved into it. Right away I had this terrible feeling and couldn't stop shaking. The victim had been murdered six months earlier, but Walter had been dead for seven years having committed suicide three years before the murder. The police think it's a copycat crime and are calling it the Sullivan case round two. But something about it bothered me. May 14th. They found the body of victim 12. But they didn't find the body of victim 11 which should be the one that started the second cycle of killings. But that's the one that the person being electrocuted says is the kid. They're actually the man. The eleventh. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we have two keys to use. One for a mailbox, I think, here. And then we have the superintendent's key, which probably should have some really good stuff in it, especially probably other keys for other apartments. <laughs>